Hi, I'm Emily from Life So Savory, and today I'm going to show you how to make fabric gift tags. Fabric gift tags are the perfect addition to any gift, whether you bought it at the store or made it at home, or even if you got a gift card. It's a great way to say thank you, happy birthday, Merry Christmas, or for any occasion that you want to demonstrate or give a gift. I like to have a stockpile of thank yous, birthdays, and Christmas tags so that it's easy to add to any gift that I'm giving. You can add the text with hand embroidery, machine embroidery, or even iron-on vinyl is a great way to add a message to your fabric gift tag. Today we're going to be using embroidery, and we're going to embroider a little message on a piece of um, fabric, and then we're going to add it to a gift tag. So let's head over to the machine and embroider there. So I've already prepped my fabric into the hoop, and I've got some stiff embroidery backing on the fabric, and we'll actually use that in the tag as reinforcement and interfacing as well. So we're gonna pop the hoop into the machine, clip it into place, and then that's ready to go. Now for today's message, we're gonna keep it short and sweet, so we're just gonna embroider the message high so you can see how it works. So I'm gonna go over here to my fonts, and I'm just gonna choose a simple block font, and then I press the H, press the I, and I can see the message that I'm gonna write up there, and then I hit set. Now, if you wanna change the size, or move it, or rotate it, or edit the colors, you can do all that on the screen. When you're ready to go, you hit end, and then it's ready to embroider. So now we need to lower our presser foot, hit embroidery, and we'll be ready to go. All right, so now we're gonna embroider that message onto the fabric. You can really design any message that you want, but today we're just keeping it short for the sake of time. Your color choices are also unlimited, but I'm trying to match the message for this gift tag. The template for these gift tags is available on the website. If you'd like to download it there, you can create the ones like I have. You can also design your own in any size, and this is a great way to use up fabric scraps. When the embroidery finishes, then it's time to remove it from the machine. So we're just gonna say, finish embroidering, okay. And then we can lift our presser foot, pull it out of those clamps, and then it's already cut the threads for us, and pull it off. So now we're gonna remove it from the hoop and add it to the fabric scraps that we have. Or if you don't have fabric scraps, of course, you can just use whatever fabric you want, but the fabric for the gift tag. Now, I'm just gonna trim up a couple of these threads here that I can get to, and then we're gonna clip it all together. So, I'm gonna place my fabric over the design, kind of get it centered and organized on there, and I'm gonna put a couple pins before I trim this fabric. Then we'll add the back and sew it all together. Okay, so I think now I can just use this as a guide to cut the fabric. You can also trim more later after it's all cut, but we're just gonna get it roughly the same size at this point. I've got a template for this square tag and also the rounded tag. You can use whichever one you prefer or make some of each. Okay, so now we have to add our backing, and so we're gonna create three layers. So with the backing wrong side up, we'll have a sandwich with that embroidery, stiff embroidery backing in the center. And then we pin this all together. I like to use just a few pins so it holds it all together, but also keeps it in place. If one piece slides, then we end up having to trim the other piece as we're sewing.
now we're ready to stitch our fabric gift tag. I like to use a zigzag stitch. You could use a straight stitch if you wanted, but we're gonna use a zigzag stitch today. And you can adjust the width or length here on this screen if you want it to be a little wider. So I'm gonna make it just a little bit wider, give myself just a little more room to catch all these layers of fabric. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna stitch around the inner square and then around the outer perimeter as well to fully stitch the tag. So we can start on this inside and stitch all the way around that inside. Now for, fab or for thread choices, you can either use something that matches perfectly if you don't really want it to show or something that's contrasting, kind of what I'm doing. It's one of the colors in our fabric, but because we have many colors, nothing would really match perfectly. Your fabric's probably gonna slide a little bit as you're stitching around, but just know that we can trim that all up when we're finished. If you did put fusible interfacing on the back of the fabric, you could use a straight stitch and then trim that and it wouldn't fray. So I'm using the zigzag stitch because I didn't put interfacing on my fabric. Cut our threads. All right, so now we've got that inner square finished and let's do the outer perimeter. I'm stitching so that my needle on the right side just goes slightly off the fabric. That just finishes the edge of the gift tag. And then turn each corner. And if you need to adjust the fabric, you can kind of stop and adjust it as you're going. Also know that you can trim it when it's finished. I kind of like having that as a backup if it does start to slide a little bit. So again, I'm setting my needle, turning when I get to each corner. Just gonna press that little wrinkle out of the way. And then we'll go down here to the finish. can see how the zigzag stitch is kind of binding that edge and adding a cute little design. You could also, of course, use any sort of fancy stitch, not just a zigzag that you wanted. Okay, so now we have our little tag that says hi, and I'll show you how to finish it up. Okay, now the way that I have finished these is to use these large eyelets and add just a little metal detail. These actually come in a variety of colors and sizes, so you can use them however you want. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut a tiny hole with little scissors. Okay, you can mark sort of with the eyelet onto the fabric with a pencil, and then you just pop the two pieces in. So you push that through from the front, add the backing, and then it's really easy just to finish with a hammer, okay? So you would just bonk that and then it stays together. And then I like to finish the tags with either a ribbon, rick rack, or this fancy sort of lace. If you don't wanna use the eyelets, you can add a simple buttonhole on your sewing machine, slice that open, and then thread your ribbon through there. But these fabric gift tags are easy to make, easy to stockpile, and a great way to add a handmade touch to any gift.